with the experiment Young's modulus of the material of the beam by using pin and microscope okay and here uh, this is the experimental setup in this you have two knife edges these are the two knife edges and here you have the pin and the paste over here it's a rubber paste followed by uh, here you have the weights this is dead weight which is of w or you can say 50 gram okay and a uh, pin has been uh, pointed upward okay so it's a bell pin uh, so it, it it should point upward and uh, this is the microscope and here you can adjust with the help of the screw to get a clear image and this is the tangential screw okay so this screw plays a role uh, to adjust uh, slight adjustments in the sense uh, if you want to move the division uh, slightly then you can make use of uh, this uh, screw to adjust it and followed by you have a main screw if you want to move it um that is uh, if you want to move so many division at a time in the sense so suppose if it reads somewhere 14 or 13 uh, you want to keep it at 7 or 6 then you can adjust the main screw to drop it right so whenever you want to adjust the tangential screw it should be tight then only it will move okay this tangential screw will move when this main screw is tight okay you take care of that and one more thing when you go on add the weight what will happen to the pin it will that is the scale will bend okay so when you're weaving this through the microscope this pin will appear enlarged and it is inverted okay the tip of the pin will get inverted and there will be a crosswire in the microscope so it will be like a plus symbol that the horizontal line should touch this particular pin pin point okay so the point of the pin should touch that horizontal cross wire so once it gets touched then you can able to uh, see the reading here uh, msr vc and total reading to be calculated for each weight so what will happen if you go on at the weight the scale will bend and the position of the pin will get changed so your uh, your duty is that to adjust this tangential screw to touch the cross wire of the microscope okay so whenever you add the weight the pin will go down when you're weaving this through the microscope the pin will go up because it's an inverted image so uh, your aim to adjust this tangential screw to touch the cross wire the pin should touch the cross wire that is the tip of the pin should touch the cross wire right so this is how you will do and you will start taking the readings of it so this is the adjustment i have made here i have kept the distance between two knife edges to be 60 centimeter so i have kept on one side this is of 100 centimeter so i have kept this as 20 and this one as 80 so it will be 60 centimeter in between so the distance between the two knife edges is 60 centimeter and i have placed the pin also right and i have uh, focused this pin and i have got the image uh, which is enlarged and and i have adjusted this particular position to touch the uh, uh, cross wire of the microscope so i can show that uh, to yes can you be able to see the pin okay now this pin is down right so i want you to adjust the tangential screw to touch the cross wire so what i'll do see here i'll be adjusting this screw okay so so that it touches the cross wire so i'll be adjusting this screw to touch the cross wire right so i'll be adjusting this I'm just trying to focus that pin, okay? Yeah. So 
So I'll try to adjust this. If I do so, then now you see, uh, yes. So I have made adjustment. See the pin touches the cross wire, right? I think now you can see. Now you can see that the pin touches the cross wire. Yes. Okay, this is how you will adjust. So when you go on at the weight, it will go up. So you try to adjust this tangential screw to drop it to the uh, cross wire, right? Be going on adding the weight in terms of 50 so that the pin will go up you will try to adjust the tangential screw uh, to exactly coincides with the cross wire right uh, this is how you will take the uh, reading right so the first thing if it touches the cross wire then you can record the reading so i'll tell you the least count of this particular uh, microscope is 0 0.001 so it will uh, the result will appear as a uh, uh, three decimals it ends up at three decimal points so the whenever you do the vernier calipers you will see the zero of the vernier scale should touch the main scale that is the main scale reading in the same way here also the zero of the vernier should touch the main scale that is the main scale reading and wherever the line coincides with the main scale note down the vernier scale reading which is in terms of uh, that is the overall division of uh, this vernier scale is 50 division so here you have 50 divisions wherever it coincides exactly with the main scale note down that reading that reading is a vernier coincidence reading so what you will do suppose if it uh, if it exactly coincides with the cross wire uh, with the main scale if it is 15 then 15 into l dot c l dot is l dot c for this one year microscope is 0 0.001 so 15 into 0 0.001 which is nothing but 0 0.015 suppose the main scale reading so 0 0.015 so 0 0.015 is uh, vc into l dot c now we need total reading total reading is msr plus vc into l dot c so vc into l dot c which is nothing but 0 0.015 now we need the main scale reading suppose the main scale the uh, zero of the vernier uh, exactly coincides with the main scale that main scale reading suppose if it reads as 12 then 12 plus 0 0.015 which is nothing but 12.015 this is how you will record the reading for the uh, particular weight w again you will add the weight you will adjust for the tangential uh, adjust the tangential screw such that the pin tip of the pin should touch the cross wire note down the other reading like that you go on do it up to w plus 350 and you will take the shift of it and then rest of the thing you will do the calculation so this is how you will do it and uh, one more thing how to take the reading so i'll just show you uh, the vernier uh, main scale uh, as well as the vernier scale i think you can be able to see this uh, this is the vernier scale okay and here you have zero right so zero of the vernier zero or, el or else it has been a uh, um uh, drawn as uh, drawn as an arrow so arrow is nothing but zero so zero of the vernier should touch the main scale so wherever it reads so here the main scale reading is what so you can use the reading lens to do it so this zero of the vernier that is here zero of the vernier should touch the main scale this is the main scale reading so wherever this arrow touches they that is the reading for for, for you so here it is in uh, centimeter so in this uh, you have the reading as uh, 11 uh, 10.7 okay 75 so each division on the main scale is 0 0.05 each division on the main scale is 0 0.05 if you want to weave this 
then you can see here uh, see uh, this is the arrow right so this arrow is here right so arrow this arrow should touch that scale so this is nothing but 8 if this is 8 this is a 9 and in between is 8.5 so if it touches 8.4 then it is 8.45 or 8.35 so this is how you will take the main scale and wherever the coincidence exactly coincides with the main scale note down the above reading so this is all uh, the, this one year scale which is of 50 centimeter sorry 50 division so if it crosses with the 34 then write down the whole number 34 so wherever you uh, that is uh, whatever experiment you have then the vernier scale will not be uh, read as decimals instead it's a whole division that is like uh, eight nine something like that instead if uh, if it has been mentioned and 0.6 point 0.7 please don't ever write as 0 0.6 point 0.7 you should write it in division is this clear this is how you will do uh, you will take the reading so now you see this is the microscope in this you have a, you have the main screw for this as well as uh, tangential screw at the other end but we are not going to use this base because here you are going to take the pin right so you are going to focus the pin here so pin in the sense if you add the weight it will go down and come back so you should not bother with the horizontal screws okay so you bother only the vertical screw uh, in the sense this tangential screw as well as the uh, main screw of this uh, microscope right so this one so uh, vertical screw only to be taken into account for this particular pin and microscope so don't ever take the horizontal screw because you are not going to move here and there right so you are going to take only the reading of this part so you should raise it or it or else fall it by with the help of the uh, main screw as well as the tangential screw right So this is how uh, you will take the reading. So after this instrument, after you do this particular tabular column, then you will go with the vernier calipers and screw gauge, right? So you will go, you are going to find the breadth of the scale using the vernier calipers and thickness of the scale using the screw gauge so that you can do it. Thank you girls.